Sometimes you find technology where you might not expect. Ex officio garments offer technology and features like stain and water resistant fabrics, pants that become shorts in an instant, indestructible buttons and security zip pockets, built in insect repellent, even UV protection and a multi position sun collar. Our clothing is technically designed from head to toe. Ex officio, made to last, made to protect, made to adventure. Before setting out on his daring mission, Jim makes a quick stop in Texas. His goal is a Texas slam, which means catching a trout, flounder, and redfish. To get the job done, Jim hooks up with one of the nation's top kayak anglers, Jeff, Bird's Nest Herman. So I get an email from Jim that says, hey, I want to come fish Texas. I said, come on, boy, it's going to be good. What's he decide to do? Come in February. February, baby, the worst wind that we get all year, February to March. Here we are, the first day of fishing Game On 2 here in Texas, Galveston. Trying to catch me my, uh, my first Texas redfish. We're in Galveston, Texas, and uh, we are at the west end of the island. Uh, most Texans know the area, San Luis Pass. It's kind of a popular, uh, legendary fishing spot on the Texas coast for uh, everything. Uh, in the summertime, sharks. Big reds, jackfish. Uh, right now, we're in the winter. You know, you get the, the trout, flounder, a little bit of flounder. I shouldn't say a lot of flounder, but uh, trout, flounder, some reds. Uh, but the big guns, the sharks, and the jacks and stuff, they're too cold right now. It's a nice area, though. Recently hit by the hurricane, but uh, they've done a lot of a lot of work down here, so it's definitely fishable and a good place to come hit the water. First cast on the uh, on the fresh gulp and. Caught me my very first Texas redfish. I, I know it's not much of one, but uh, still, pretty cool. They fight pretty good for their size. Actually, this is the God's on Street. Jeff, I met Jeff when I was at Texas A&M, and uh, he was just getting into fishing and was really, really not very good at it, <laughs> to, tell you, to tell you the truth. But he just loved it, and he uh, when he started fishing, I guess he, he didn't fish when he was growing up much. And he just he just was so enthusiastic about it, and, and uh, uh, really you know put in the time to 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 get good at it. And, and I, he's obviously uh, turned into a really good fisherman. Guys from the West Coast, this is a. The baby halibut, the distant cousin, little flounder. This is a juvenile. Uh, this is kind of their spawning time when they're out in the Gulf. The big ones are out in the Gulf, so most of the flounder we catch this time of year are just like this. So pretty. Spotted, kind of like our starry flounder at home. Yeah! <laughs> Um, I did some freshwater fishing uh, and some saltwater fishing as a kid, um, but I really got started uh, in, when I was in A uh, and M doing freshwater fishing on stock ponds up there with a buddy of mine named Jason and a buddy of mine named Jared, and that's how I met Perry, who we're fishing with today. Uh, and when we finished up at A and M, uh, we just started hitting the coast. You know, there's so much more opportunity in saltwater than freshwater for big fish, so uh, just. Got the kayak thing started, you know, I guess seven, eight years ago and haven't looked back. You see those fish tailing, I mean, it kind of gets you, get you going knowing that there are a few fish here. Um, said we haven't seen one since we turned the camera on though. <laughs> so, it's a, it's a different sort of fishing for me. It's, it's pretty cool.
Very pretty fish. You can just kind of hear them drumming. You know, these are a, kind of a, they're a, a drum, and you can hear kind of a guttural sound. It's like, they fight pretty good for their size. Let's let that guy go. Um, one of the things today is we're gonna be fishing deep and uh, around a ton of shell. So just you gotta be careful for getting hung up. And these trout, I don't know where in the water column they're gonna hit. They could hit low, middle, high, we'll have to find out. But I would start low and then start working it up. Is this a, I mean, are we targeting redfish or are we thinking we're gonna get trout here? We're specifically here targeting trout. Yeah, woohoo! So uh, it's not uh, like yesterday we had a little bit of sight casting, you know, when they're up shallow in the oysters today. It's all gonna be blind casting. And that bite, those trout will sometimes hit it hard like redfish, but sometimes they're just kind of lippy. So when you feel it, you gotta really cross their eyes with the hooks there. Nice, Jim. So that's my true slam, my Texas slam in the kayak. So. Go for it. so let this guy go. Got my slam. You let him go, huh? Woohoo! <laughs> Take off like a shot. Right on, man. Yeah. <laughs> That has a lot of work, man, for this one fish today. But uh, woo, they are slimy buggers, aren't they? That knuckle stick with you don't wipe on your way. I'm Jim Irvin with Ocean Kayaks Pro Staff, and this year in mud fishing. That there is the shallow water we look for down here in Texas. <laughs> <laughs>After catching all the fish they could in Galveston's shallow waters, Jim and Jeff head north to the Mansky Ranch, where they'll hook up with some of the sport's biggest names to lend a few soldiers a helping hand during a special Heroes on the Water event. CASA became involved with Heroes on the Water um, largely through a relationship that we had with a, an active duty major at Brook Army Medical Center. Um, major Roberson had, uh, had been chatting with us and we it turns out that the guys who founded CASA were all ex-military. So we have uh, immediately a, a very deep place in our heart for our brothers in arms. They're just young guys, kids pretty much, you know, and they all have great attitudes when they get out. You know, it's like taking out, taking some 20, 20 21 year old guys out fishing. Um, it's no different. I mean, these guys come out and, and their attitudes are great and, and they enjoy themselves. And, you know, you can just tell it's, I guess, you know, when you're going through uh, therapy, something like this is just a way to, you know, blow off steam, relax without, um, you know, w without having to think about a lot of other things. It's a way to clear the mind. We have a lot, of, a lot of our soldiers that are out here just catching fish left and right last night and yesterday. They in fact, they were the first ones to catch a fish yesterday, so that was a wonderful thing. And, and they, what these guys are doing for us out here is just amazing. And I mean, we're getting lots of lots of not good smiles out of out of some very very uh, nice young men that we know are the ones that went over there and did great things for us in other countries, and they do great things for us every day. And, and just to see them smile is I love it. We recognize how it. It truly benefits our soul to be out on the water. I mean, it's a really great experience to kayak fish. Uh, everybody has experienced the stresses of, of day to day, working in their business and, and, and what that does. And getting out on the water is a way to release all of that. You can, you can escape it. And, and the folks that are, uh, that are going through Brook Army Medical Center uh, was our first experience, um, have those issues and more. So all of a sudden they've, they've found a new life skill that they can take with them, that they can be as active as anybody else um, out there in the environment, enjoying it just like just like the average Joe. So it's, it, it's really powerful stuff. Right now, you know, they're going through a turning point in their lives and where, you know, they either have to make decisions to uh, still be a soldier or whether or not they're gonna not be a soldier anymore. 
So in this point in their life, they need good people to, uh, to keep them moving in that right direction. As far as the, the uh, rehabilitation specialist at Water Reed and at the hospital we deal with in Richmond, they said this is probably one of the few events when these guys get back to the hospital, they're bragging about it to the other, the other soldiers. You gotta do this, you gotta try this kayak fishing, man. This stuff is awesome. And they, they really like the results of that. That's the type, you know, it's part of the process of getting these guys back into where they need to be, back in the, you know, the population where they're, you know, not thinking about what happened across the ocean and get back to life, you know. I'm, I'm so stoked about getting in that kayak right now. I don't even care if it's windy, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're very patriotic and um, we do deeply appreciate what these boys and girls are doing for us over there. Um, and I've, I'm just completely honored for them to ask me to be a part of it and be able to participate in, in getting these guys out on the water.